Hey, I just, uh, a few things I wanted to say about my manager, Cash Beecham. Uh, I'm honored to have that guy as my boss. He is nothing short of a baseball savant. Uh, I've been around a lot of great baseball minds in my life, but when that guy opens his mouth, you know that what you're hearing is uh, just baseball logic gold. You know what I mean? I mean, he is one of the best teachers I've ever seen. Uh, love spending time with him every day. Love learning from him every day. And uh, yeah, there's a reason they call us uh, Daddy Shark and Baby Shark. So Cash, love you, man. Thank you for everything. Mic'd up, baby. Mic'd up. Mic'd up. I've already dropped 14 F-bombs. Kevin will be 112 when he gets through editing this. I could be fired. I could be banned from baseball after this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be canceled after this. Kevin will probably get like three minutes out of the whole game. Yeah. They're like three good minutes. Saying yes, sir, to Logan when he rounded third. Yes, sir. All that one or what? Oh, my God. That ball went over the world. Three little three zero green light action. That's what that's what you do. Three zero green light, baby. That boy went eyeballing. Yes, sir. Good jump too. Remember, you as soon as his leg lifts, you're gone. I was taking off as soon as I saw his front foot move. There you go, Pablo. Come on, let's go. All human out here, man. We're all human. Hey, don't don't let that. Hey, God dang it! Don't let that little and he f***ed up. Yeah. Okay, but don't let that little affect what you're doing out there yes, at sir. all because you are yes, pitching your nuts off. Yeah. Let's go, keep it going. Just it, your swing path is this way. Right, yeah, it's got to be down through the ball, hands above the ball. It's going this way again, and that's usually from dropping your hands or pulling your head, both. That a boy, Cam, way to get on there, kid. That a boy. Yeah. All right, get that head out, shoot fire. You know, if you didn't throw 97, that probably wouldn't be sore. <laughs> Just start throwing, start throwing like knuckle balls. I can get him hard in here, boys. You got to get it in there, though. Oh boy. Or a soft away. I think it was. It looked like a backup. It looked like a. It almost looked like a backup slider, or it could have been a cutter, but it, it, there wasn't a lot of velo on it. It was almost like a shutter. He's in these guys' domes. They don't know where it's coming. They're thinking one thing, and they're, they're caught in between, you know? Let's keep scoring, boys. Come on, add on. Get them, get them, bats, keep them bats rolling. Let's go. Rafi. We're south. How many breaking balls did you get, like five? Today, that that at bat four oh, and that, that at bat three. three. Okay, yeah. first three pitches breaking balls. Yeah, they, their scouting report on you is breaking balls. So look, go ahead and set on a hanger. Okay. You know what I mean? Because I think you're going to get more breaking balls than fastballs in this series. You know, just look for that one up, and you can unload on that one. Hey, tough one too, low. Come on, kid. Holy sh! You're a strong man. We need a 3-0 fastball out and a 0-2 fastball out. That's about as good as it gets right there, Kevin. So the first swing, what'd you feel? I felt like I swung really, I kept my, I was here, I wasn't it, it, that, that swing was way more under control than in, in, in Missoula. Okay. The first one, 
Okay. And if you thought you overswung, you know, off that machine, you were just flicking balls out of here. Yeah. yeah all you did, is, you just got to remember, all you have to do is touch the barrel with the ball. Yeah. I mean, you are so physically gifted that that's, that's all you have. And sometimes you don't even have to touch the barrel. Yeah. You know, you, 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 that's it. it's just, She's the, I mean, this was the other one. you hit a ball off the scoreboard today that hurt your hands. <laughs> I mean, who does that? They scored one. One run. I got one run. I mean, these people up there, do they even watch the game? This is some nice shoes, Nick. Thank you. Hey, let's get that run back. Come on, Reese. This is uh, going on to my second year being managed by Cash Beecham, and I can honestly say that this man has every knowledge about the game of baseball to help you perform, to get better on a daily basis. Yeah, so I've been grateful enough to uh, be around Cash Beecham for the last three years, known him for about four years, and just the amount of knowledge and passion he has for the game and for the players that, you know, he brings along is, is just amazing, and I couldn't be more grateful to be able to play for a manager like Cash. This is my second year under Cash Beecham. Um, man, there's not enough I can say about him, but um, what I can say is, he really cares. He really cares about his players, and not only about us as people, but as players, trying to get us better every single day. You know, everything under cash is done with a purpose. Um, working on fundamental skills, our mental approach, our physical approach. Every day, there's a purpose to get better. Not afraid to be himself. You know what you get every day, um, and he makes you better. Nice little old school style of baseball, but I love it, and that's why I came back here. Beach is a great manager. I've been with him for the last two years. Uh, I was fortunate to get signed by the Diamondbacks last year because of Cash, and I mean he's just a great baseball mind. I love talking to him every day about hitting. I've tweaked a few things with me that's really turned my season around, and uh, really appreciate everything that Skip's done for me. Uh, this is my second year with Cash as the AT and Skipper relationship, um, and I can honestly say that he helps foster a community that makes my job that much easier and helps the athletes stay where they need to be and stay in good spirits and stay healthy and strong and feel comfortable with what they're doing. And that's very hard to find, especially in professional sports where athletes need to stay on the field to have their job, but he cares about them more than just a paycheck and more than just a championship. He cares about them as people, um, and that's very rare and very special, and I feel very honored to work with him. Well, I have no idea what my life would be like if I hadn't met Cash Beecham, but I know it wouldn't be as good and it wouldn't have gone along the path, uh, you know, of my dreams. So I'm forever grateful for Cash. Uh, when we met in 2019, we just hit it off right away, and uh, I grew up loving the Diamondbacks, so wanted to meet him as a Diamondback scout came to our game. And I thought I blew it when I got ejected up by 11 runs in that game, but Cash noticed my passion and then uh, has invited me to several great jobs since then. And uh, he's just super humble. Welcome. But, uh, and he won't ever admit it, but he's a great baseball mind and a great manager and a great leader of men. And uh, this group is, is what we are because of him. So thanks, Cash. No, Cash and I, we go back all the way to 1998, the independent ball. But actually, I tried to play for him when I was still pitching, and he said no to me. So I went to the same league against him and everything, started pitching against him, then I started managing against him. And uh, we've always been good friends ever since then. Uh, any ball definitely runs through our blood, and uh, he's a great guy. He works hard for his players. He's very passionate about the game. And he's a good friend to me, and we talk all the time during the season, off season. Uh, we do things together, so he's like a brother I didn't have. As part of what we're talking about here tonight is the manager's office, which is being filled by Kevin Johnson from Kevin Johnson Media Services. He's got cash mic'd up. What, Pub? I want to leave him out there, out of boy. We're working on a piece for the Pioneer Week website that basically introduces the managers to all the viewers. Cash beat you, man. I love you too, son. <laughs> Is there a guy who's more wound up than that guy? I, he wears his heart on his sleeve with every pitch. He doesn't take a pitch off. And uh, 
You know, when Nick Belmonte, my friend and former manager of the Salt Lake Trappers that I had, when he recommended Cash, I couldn't hire him faster. Plus, with his connections with as a current employee of the Arizona Diamondbacks. Hey, gang, thanks for tuning in to learn a little bit about Cash here on Pioneer League's manager's office. Uh, we're proud to have him. He's not here right now, which makes us a better segment anyway. Um, he's a good guy, a great coach, and a fine man, and a good parent. So thanks for tuning in to the manager's office. We love our Cash Beecham. He's Cash Money, baby. Ciao.